Hello. I'm going to present you with the free version of SAM for the humans. Let's install it. Free version and enable it. You can close now and go to the SAM tab. You see that all these are in red because you have something that you have to do that's very important. Install the virtual environment. Let's go to that. First select a path. It shouldn't have space. For example, I can create one in the root folder. AI for the um, AI VM. To probably I already have one. Yeah. I'm installing this folder. Select it. And now we have to keep pressing all these buttons to install everything. Everything that is in red is important. Let me put it this way. So we have to click on the first one, wait for it to finish. It, this part, it doesn't pop up a window, but others will. You see that it's done. You can press the next button it will pop up a window installing all the Python packages. Some of them takes a bit. This this one is Predetectron. I don't know if this one takes longer, but I'll pause the ones that take longer so you don't have to watch all this. As soon as this message shows up, it means that you can close and that part is done. Let's close it and go to the next one, the PyTorch. Click on it. You must do on this order. Always follow this order. The PyTorch takes a while. I'm going to pause it again. PyTorch also done. You can see from the close this window message. Close it and go to the last one. Yay! Start the Tektron. The Tektron also done. One important thing, it's interesting for you to watch how it's installing, because if it, if it shows some sort of error, it's important for you to copy the text, for example, like this, you can click and, and drag, copy all the text, and right click to copy on Windows 11, open the notepad, save this text, you can paste on the text file, save it, and send it to me so I can analyze and see what is the problem. That's important for, for me to, to, to help to fix this. Because some, sometimes with just a single message I can't understand what's going on. I must see all the, the context. But, okay, it's done the detecton part. All the VM is installed. Uh, we have one last thing that is the import the SMPL FX file. If you press here, it's gonna show a window for you to select the FX file, but you have to download it first. The this this button is the link to page where you can download. If you already have um, registered in the SMPL site you can go you can log in and go to the download folder if you don't have you can register and must agree to its license it's a non-commercial license it's an important thing to notice you can't use it commercially um, and you have to download the SMPL for Maya as it says here here on the add-on get the SMPL for Maya this file SMPL Maya one let's see you can see on the bottom the name is smplmaya.zip. You can click on it to download. I think I could click it. Okay. And I'm going to download it. And okay, I'm going to open and extract this into a folder. Let me go to this folder. Here you have it. SMPL Maya, and you have to import this file, basic model MLBS. 
you can see the name is here also on the add-on basic model MLBS 10 blah 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 so we download it now let's import it we can go on my, on my project folder SMPL Maya Maya basic model M that's important not the F the F won't work the M one import it and you're all set to work and how do we do now you can do all the process to create animation from video it's quite simple I've got some um, feedback from users that they were able to work with less RAM than I than I tested uh, on my machine I saw that it works using almost 14 gigabytes using the execute for the human and on my machine use using the execute with less VRAM it used about 8.5 gigabytes but users with 6 gigabyte reported to me that they were able to work so you can do this you can select a video and try the if you have more than 6 gigabytes of RAM maybe it's interesting for you to try the first one uh, and it, if it doesn't work you can try to execute with less VRAM so let's do a test um, and let me try this one then execute for the human important thing is that you press window and toggle system console to show what it's doing because I, I don't have a way to show it on the add-on so it it shows on the console panel console window not panel I'm gonna pause it it takes a bit on my machine about I think five minutes to process this video it's a short video about five seconds I guess and um, continue when it finish one important thing to notice you can see here the import raw is not enabled it means that it can't import but we are also processing so if you have any sort of error as I said with the installing the VM please copy the message that shows on the console copy the text and save it on a notepad and please send it to me with the text near the the error most things that shows before the error so I can see the context and analyze and help to, to find out where, what is the, the problem okay it's done the process and now you can do a couple of things you can as you import the FBX file you can make it in, uh, show inside of Blender using this import raw if you have just one character it's gonna show here one and you can it's usually by default one if you have more characters two three five any characters it's gonna show the amount of character that it has and you can select here which character do you want in this case you can see that it's not showing the import raw because I don't have five characters so it, it will show a problem if I try to import so I disable it if you are selecting a character that doesn't have on the file so let's import it and it takes a little bit not too much and it's gonna show here but you see there is something it showed uh, the finalized armature here and I have a bone okay there is a little problem on the 4D humans the Z axis is a little bit messed up we can push here on the bottom to open a new window and select the graph editor and you can see if you press the numpad where is this guy okay it's here if you press the numpad 1 you can see it more easily and you can let me put the time timeline here you can see the animation 
and if you see on the perspective it, it's far 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 away you can uh, how can you do to fix that you can on the graph editor you can go to view frame all and you can see that it has this line on top usually this line is the z location for the pelvis bone if you double click it's going to select that animation line the pelvis z location and you can press delete to remove it and with it's done it's not going to be shaky anymore because if you let me undo that let me go right in front of the character if you leave this z location your animation will be very shaky and that's no good at all but the z location it's really not useful here you can remove it as i said double click the location pelvis um this part click delete and you're gonna remove that information that it's odd you can animate and see that it's much more stable but it's also on the odd position far far away we can do this with the armature selected you can go to the pose mode you can go to this wireframe view to see the bones and you can select the middle one the pelvis and with the pelvis selected you can go to the item and put z equals zero you can see that this this information has a different color because it used to have animation data but we removed it so it's gray because it doesn't have animation net on it so you can put a zero and it will go to the to the start to the middle point of your scene and basically that basically that's it you can go to object and go to the um, viewport shading view and now you can see the animation rotate around it and so on that's how you get the animation if you have more characters you can do the same thing you select another character import remove the z location for the pelvis you can set it to zero and it will work fine okay now i'm going i i wanted to talk about um very interesting idea that i had and the main reason for me to to share this work that i've done on top of for the humans to share this part for free my main idea was to make a big as big as possible collection of animation data possible and for that i need your help to build it but how how you can do that well you just select the video you execute and have the animation even if you don't import you will have after the ex execute you will have the export option if you press this export option it's gonna give you uh, a possibility to export this pkl file that you just made and i'm creating a bunch of files to to share it for free with everyone and let me put contributions and you can save this animation data and what I ask you is that please send some you don't have to send all the animations that you built but share some animation that you created for others to be able to to use and you also can take advantage of that because you not only have the export option you also have the import option so other people that done some work you can also use their work let me show let me remove this animation and i'm going to import another one i'm going to import one that has two people drag sakaguchi i love this animation and you see it imported it has two characters i can import the first one and here it is as the the last time i can remove this location double click remove and let
let me put on the pose mode let me find the pelvis through here it's easier for me pelvis and I can put zero here and it shows here on the start now I'm gonna select the second character import it and here it is again I forgot to show the, the console okay so the second animation is here I can remove the Z location to delete and I can go to the pose mode and select the pelvis bone pelvis bone item zero so now you have it here it's, this one is not this drag Sekiguchi <laughs> okay but you can see how it works and you can have animations from other people and oh, one also important thing is in any case if the process doesn't work for you neither on the execute for the human or the execute with less RAM you have the possibility to work to process that on Google Colab and import that Google Colab file here there is another um, tutorial explaining how to do this process of the Google Colab I'm gonna put a link and you also with a low uh, powerful PC you can also use this animation too and to finalize okay you have this animation but what the heck do you do with it well usually if you have this animation you are gonna want to import it on your character but how do you do that there is a process called retargeting with retargeting you get this animation information from the this character and you can make it work on your own character I have another video talking about that I'm also gonna link it here and so you can have lots of fun and please if you create something please share it with me I'm gonna set up a page on my patreon for free for everyone to download the, the animation files I'm gonna review it first to see if there isn't any problem create some preview if you can inform the source of the anime uh, the video it's better so I can put the information there I also gonna link to you to say that you made the video so I'm not the the one that does everything I, I like to share the the credits to other people that that does things and yeah, basically I think that's it thanks a lot for everything if you can support me I have a patron I have a paid version of this add-on that has a lot of other tools like footlock footlock height um, and a couple of smooth options to speed up all the process and that's it thanks a lot bye bye